first few days of freedom, we can finally enjoy being on the boat. Go and take a chance, me, let me ride. I could be the best thing in your life. Maybe let's take a drive, take a drive. So we came back here uh, next to the marina just to restock the boat and everything. And now we are ready to leave. Do you know the Murphy's Low? <laughs> Murphy is definitely on this boat, I can tell you that, that's for sure. So we wanted to leave to go to the reef and just, you know, enjoy, swim, but Murphy decided otherwise. So yeah, and sprained his ankle. Um, so yeah, we're not going to the reef because he can't swim. Then we decided it's fine, let's just go up north, we'll go towards Cairns, we get northerly winds. Which you only get maybe two or three days max per month if you are in summer <laughs> and we are in winter. So definitely should not have northerly right now. Instead of that, you know what, we're not gonna stress out, we're just gonna go to Maggie Island which is in front of Townsville. We'll wait there for a day or two until the nose will come down and then we can maybe go to the reef or we'll go up nose. We'll see. Okay, apparently change of plans. The anchor chain is struggling and we're not really managing to get it back up. Back at the sleepway, we added an extra 20 meters of chain on our existing 50 meters and we changed the 50 meters rope, which was getting tired. We marked it all up every five meters, and a friend of ours helped us with the splicing of the new rope. Fast forward to the present, the chain was definitely not going up the windlass, so we had to get creative and go back to the marina to sort it out. Murphy's still with us, right? Murphy. <laughs> we don't have a deck long enough. First, just drop the anchor. <laughs> Solid. So what's the plan? I hope we can carry that on the dinghy and then here. I hope. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. we're gonna change the entire chain because even the part that we already had it's quite rusty and we were thinking of changing it next year but since we're having this issue we might as well change it now As predicted, it's a lot more complicated than we thought. So we bought some eight meals the other day and it's bigger than what we have. So we figured, well, what we have must be six meals. But actually no, because it's, it's quite complex. So what we have is some eight meals general links and then you have eight meal short link, which looks like this. And this is the six meal. So quite the difference and obviously we're not sure. We think we have eight meals, but it's difficult to know. And in any case, I didn't have any stock here. We called another shop. They have stock, but we need to check the size we need first. So back to the marina, I guess. Six meals is clearly too small. It's clearly an eight meal. I can see that now. So without even measuring, I know it's an eight meal, just by comparison. So yeah, eight meal we were right, but we need short links instead of the eight meal that we got, which is long links.
that's the difficult part. Get everything onto the car. You went shopping? So the good news is that we were able to find everything that we needed today. The bad news is we're back to the beginning. So we have to measure it out, mark it up again, change everything. It's going to take ages. We only got 60 meters because we figured there's also from the old chain, there's about 20 meters that we can still very much use. I was telling you this morning about Murphy being on this boat. He's still lurking around, probably above Jan, looking at him and thinking about how can he mess with him. So anyways, we went to the store, we bought 60 meters of chain and um, we only have 50. <laughs> Yay! From the old chain, we're only able to salvage about 15 meters. So that gives us uh, 65 meters in total. And we wanted something more between 70 and 80. Try calling the shop. Obviously they are closed. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to wait until tomorrow morning to attach everything because let's see what they say when they open tomorrow. Maybe they give us an extra 10 meters with a chain link. Maybe they are able to give us uh, an entire 60 meters length of a new chain. I don't know. Yeah, the bad part about all of this is I'm going to have to try and redo this myself. Okay, let's try this. I uh, hear the difficult part is the beginning, but then once it started, it's super easy to breathe. But yeah, starting it is a skill. <coughs> Which clearly I don't have. Let's try again. This is attempt number two. I'll put the first strand here, second strand here, and then the third one here. <coughs> nope, still don't have it. I'll spare you attempt number three, four, five, up to 300. And then let's jump directly to this one. <coughs> yep, still unsuccessful. Okay, time to admit defeat. And YouTube is my friend. fibers fall where they naturally want to fall and you'll get a left a middle and a right strand okay i think i get the principle let's see if i can actually reproduce and that's what you're looking for the rope these these three strands exit this rope here at exactly the same place around the rope so we now know they're exiting exactly the same place around the rope and that was the hardest bit done. We've done the hard bit and all we need to do now is just weave these three strands down our rope like so. I think I finally managed to do it. Uh, but one thing is for sure is that I won't teach you how to do it because I really struggled. Um, so what I'll do is I'll link below the video that I um, actually used to teach me how to do it. I think it's a really good video, so I'll, I'll just link it down below if you need to do this. But don't call me. <laughs> Please don't call me. I suppose one of the good perks of being stuck in town for one more night is that we can get pizza. Yay! Well, you know, find comfort wherever you can. I don't know if you have that in English, but in French we call somebody like Kian a black cat because basically he's always bringing bad luck. It's never anything major. I can't call him unlucky in life, that's not true, you know. I consider ourselves very lucky people, but it's always like in all of these little situations, he's always going to be on the unlucky side of things. So if something bad is going to happen, it will happen. Makes 
After a nice cold shower, we just finished the night enjoying pizza and watching a show. The next day, we quickly went back to the shop to get everything sorted out. We got two of these, which are links that we can put through the chain. They're really good, but <laughs> they are stupidly hard to put on because you have to hammer both sides. We did it once. I mean, we didn't do it. Somebody did it for us because we couldn't manage to do it. But this time, we're gonna have to do it twice. So what happened is um, in the end, they couldn't give us like 60 meters of chain. They gave us um, an extra 10 and then the chain link. It's not ideal because we would have wanted to have as much chain without links as possible, but we're gonna put the link at the end and it's not that frequently that we're gonna need more than 60 meters. In order to put those chain links, you have to hammer those little pins. I strongly suggest getting your link between two metal bits because for some reason it doesn't work when directly on the ground. Now that this is done, time to take advantage of that marina and use the opportunity to clean the boat after being in the sleepway for so long. Finally, we just need to get the anchor back on board, which happened without any issues, and off we go! I hope so. I hope so. I mean, we're not going too far, just like two hours away, but I really hope this time we can go there. That means we are leaving this place for good. Let's see.